Hey, I'm recording this video uh, just to show you one way in which the circularity present with media queries has been optimized or worked around by browsers. Uh, it wasn't always the case that this particular behavior happened. Um, it used to be uh, if you had regular styles and then a width-based breakpoint that somehow created a vertical scroll bar where there hadn't been before. Um, the width of the scroll bar is about 16 pixels. And so for 16 pixels around that breakpoint, it kind of fudges whether the breakpoint applies or doesn't apply um, to get around that circularity that used to happen. So I've just observed this. It seems now that there's no difference whether there's a doc type or whether it's in quirks mode, but it used to be flickering in quirks mode and handled in HTML5. Now it seems that Safari has updated that. So I can show you the handled version, but unfortunately I can't make it flicker. So what we have here is uh, just a document with basically no styles um, applying to it. And we've got a media query, which will set a background color when it applies, as well as uh, making the document twice as tall as the viewport, which forces a scroll bar to appear. Um, this is just for our debugging purposes. All this is doing is displaying the browser viewport's inner width as a number that we can see on the page and, and made it big. So we're going to compare the inner width of the document with the physical uh, width that the browser pane thinks it is. And as we get close to that breakpoint, we'll see how it kind of uh, fudges the breakpoint a bit so that the scroll bar with a known width doesn't cause circularity. So if we go below our breakpoint, you'll notice here this is our EQCSS supplied inner width. And you'll also notice uh, I'm using Coda as my editor. You'll also notice that as I resize in the center of the screen, there's this uh, dimension uh, that shows up. And so here we are, uh, 7.99 in both. Uh, as we go up closer to 1,000, you'll notice that the two of them are completely locked. You know, 945, 945. Uh, we keep going, and knowing that our breakpoint should kick in at 1,000, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, 996 were the same. And as soon as we hit 1,000, it went down to 985. In theory, we should have a green background and we should have our scroll bar at this point. But because the, if, if we remove this, it would. But because we have a query which triggers the display of a scroll bar, there's some kind of a special case where this is not going to apply actually until we get up to 15. And so here it's telling me that the browser is 1,000. And so from here, we've got a discrepancy that is the width of the scroll bar between the application of the media query and the actual media query. Uh, now in quirks mode, it used to trigger at 1000. And so for each pixel, uh, you had this circularity where it was flickering on and off, on and off until you got past the point where the width of the scroll bar no longer uh, affected the query. So that usually was around 1016. So I can tell that somebody has already optimized this. Somebody is fudging the numbers and trying to outsmart the breakpoints to remove the possibility that media queries uh, have circularity. But what we're actually looking at when that drops to 985 is we're looking at media query circularity. And just because it isn't flickering doesn't mean that that circularity isn't happening. It has been optimized. And so I feel like uh, similar with element queries, there may be some way that browser people are able to optimize, uh, and you saw the behavior was different, whether this was present or not. So I'm not sure how they're testing or sniffing for that, but that would be one way. Um, iframes used to also have this, uh, the possibility of flickering with the scroll bar, and I can't reproduce it this month, but I still have my old tests that used to do it, and they're not broken anymore. So uh, there was more circularity, or there was more unhandled circularity with media queries and iframes in the past, and now we're just kind of faking it so nobody sees it, 
but if you if the actual number of pixels like if you're a designer who there's a difference between a thousand and ten fifteen for you uh you'd start to run into this gray zone where numbers don't exist uh for the width of the scroll bar so it is kind of a mess um the way that that's kind of been fudged i'm not sure what's possible for what we're trying to do here <laughs> 